welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a requested video which is a rundown of the Aqua de Gioia range of perfumes that are out right now. If you're new here then welcome to my um, channel. It's all about perfumes. Do subscribe because I am uploading videos every week, different perfume ranges, perfume notes and I try and do all the ones that you request as well. So the actual name Gioia, I think I'm pronouncing it correct but I'm probably not, is an Italian name and it basically means like precious, jewel, it's a female name, um, it doesn't like mean anything to do with the perfume as such, it's more just like a nice name and then obviously the aqua de bit means sort of water of um, Gioia. And I think that kind of explains like the theme of these perfumes, they are very fresh, airy, aquary and um, I think the original Aqua de Gioia is sort of known for being kind of like a light blue or um, like a Versace like fresh perfume. So there are kind of four versions of it that are out at the moment and they're kind of advertised together and there have been different flankers over the years but these are the four that Armani is sort of promoting and advertising at the moment and the four that you can get in the shops. As always I'll leave links below to where you can get these perfumes but let's just go straight into the original. So the original is essentially a fresh lemony aquatic perfume. In the, after the initial hit of lemon, you get a little bit of jasmine, but like a fresh jasmine, not a heavy jasmine. And there's loads of mint in here as well, so think like really um, summer's day, by the ocean in Italy, sort of picking fresh mint, having lemon juice, and just feeling really, really fresh, even though it's really hot. That's kind of what this perfume evokes to me. It has peony in, which I always love in a perfume because I find it makes it like really fresh. Even though peony is a flower, it almost is like a fresh note, not a floral note because it's just so light and airy and feminine and I just think that this is a really lovely like fresh um, everyday perfume it will be good for work good for daytime good for spring summer it's not massively amazing at lasting but um, it's okay I'd say it's like medium at lasting you'll maybe get three hours out of it depends how much you use and of course if you use the body products and stuff that go with it then that will help make it last so in 2016 they released two new versions of this, so the first one, Air de Gio, is basically a lighter version. So it's not lemony, it's like just the freshness of the original and it's a little bit salty as well, like a salty sea breeze fresh kind of smell. They've really amped up the peony which makes it super fresh and feminine and then there's um, a cypress tree note in here so again like very Italian, slightly green but mixed with the peony and the saltiness and the sort of aquatic-y oceaniness of it. This is definitely the lightest of them all It's and as a result it's probably the worst for lasting as well just because of the nature of the perfume but if you really like want something that's super refreshing and airy then this is a really good shout. So the other one they released in 2016 was Sky de Gioia um, which is a lovely pink bottle and it has like a sort of pink like lychee slightly fruity vibe to it but predominantly this is like oh, so peony like super fresh peony but then they've also put rose in here which brings out the floral side of the peony fragrance so this is probably the sort of most prettiest floraliest of them all and um, I think it kind of all mixes together to become slightly sort of typical and generic female perfume um, you know you can't really distinguish the particular perfume notes once they've all mixed together but it's just a nice light feminine um, fragrance I think difficult to hate like this would be good to get as a gift for someone because I don't think you can really go wrong with it it's it's just a typical girl's perfume and then in 2019 we got light de Gio in a gorgeous um, yellow bottle looking just like the sun this is actually a white floral perfume so it's really really smells of gardenia to me and um, there's some jasmine in there and some slight woody undertones but the predominant note is gardenia that you get here so think um the Gucci perfume was it gorgeous 
glamorous gardenia I think it was called like a musky gardenia but still light and fresh um doesn't really remind me of the sun but think like walking through a a garden with gardenia in it in the summer in Italy and this is kind of where this perfume takes you to again it's not heavy it's it's fresh and light um even though it is like a white floral and again it's like maybe medium like okay for lasting I believe now that they've brought out this yellow light de Gioia and um, they're going to discontinue the sun one that they brought out a few years ago because they're both yellow but they're actually completely different fragrances so the sun under Gioia is still available actually so I'm gonna cover it here and I'll link it down below where you can still get it but basically this was like a vanilla ylang ylang frangipan and sort of warm vanillary version um so there's no sort of vanillary gourmand in any of the others um so this was perhaps a little bit more heavier certainly more so than the light de Gioia. um but it has a slightly different shaped bottle and i figured with the the new yellow one they would just reformulate this and slightly change the package but they haven't they just brought out a totally different gardenia one but this is still sold it is still on the armani website so i thought i'd just add it in here as a note at the end so that's it let me know if you wear any of these if you tried them and let me know what you think of the range and the different new ones that keep coming out. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And like I said, subscribe for more videos just like this. Let me know any requests that you guys have down below in the comments. Um, I do try and cover them all. But that's it for now. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.